Hey, uh, Rachel here. So, what does a potter and mother of two get up to when left alone for a couple of hours in this uh, lockdown um, period that we're in? Crazy time. Um, oh, I'm going to do a barrel firing, of course. What else would I do? Uh, I'm going to make the most of this beautiful, beautiful sunny day today um, and fire up some pottery that's been lying around for a while in uh, my barrel so yeah it's gonna get pretty hot pretty smoky and gonna be a lot of fun and I'm gonna guide you through the process uh, something that you can do if you've got a little bit of outside space uh, it's great fun and um, hopefully I'll get some really good results too so I've only got a small um, amount of pottery to go in so here's my barrel um, an old oil drum and inside I've just got a very shallow layer of sawdust um, that's collected from some wonderful friends who make beautiful furniture out of wood. Um, I've got a few pots here to go in, uh, I've got some fire lighters, some banana skin, seaweed and some coffee granules there, um, a bit of cobalt carbonate that I'm going to put in and some iron oxide and a little stash of wood um, here just some um, old scrap bits of of things that I've found lying around and that is all gonna go in so um, I'll just load up the barrel so you can see here on top of the sawdust I've just sprinkled around the cobalt carbonate and the iron oxide and I've put the banana skins and the uh, coffee granules and a bit of seaweed um, just on the bottom there and now I'm going to load the pottery in. Okay so the pottery is loaded into the bottom. I've um, placed a few of the banana skins up onto the walls of the pottery and um, put a bit of the oxides, um, sprinkled those on the top as well. So here is the uh, wood, it's gone into the barrel. Um, I've layered up some different size wood with the heavier bits of wood on the top um, and just picked some twigs uh, from around the, the land here. Um, and put some scrunched up newspaper and just a little bit of fire lighter just to get the fire started. So we've got a few flames coming now, hopefully that wood can catch soon. You can see I haven't layered it up very deeply. Um, that's just because the pots aren't very big and there's, there's not much in there so I'm hoping it's still going to work. I haven't ever done this with such a shallow amount of wood and sawdust. Um, I've usually filled it all the way so a bit of an experiment and uh, we'll see what happens. From a safety point of view you can see that the barrel is positioned in the middle of a large tarmac area. Um, the wood supply is also in a metal container and I've got the appropriate fire extinguisher nearby just in case. Um, the other side of those beautiful trees is um, uh, an area of outstanding natural beauty. I think it's like an SSI site. Uh, so the last thing I want to do is be responsible for setting fire to that lovely lot. So um, yeah, it's really important that you don't light the fire um, underneath any trees or um, on grass, particularly dry grass. Um, I could have put it on the grass over there, but um, I'm a bit concerned about the close proximity to my very beautiful wooden uh, studio. Um, and also, I don't know if you can see in the distance, um, which there's sheep and don't really want cooked sheep being a vegetarian and all that. <laughs> Okay, so the fire's burnt right down now and I'm just left with some embers and some pottery in the bottom there. Uh, it's quite a bit darker than I expected but 
I'll give it a good scrub and see what colours appear. This is an exciting bit, getting it out. I'm just really pleased at the moment that it doesn't look like there's any crack. So um, yeah, I'll use tongs to get the pottery out because it will still be quite warm and I'm really impatient. I uh, probably should just let it cool down naturally, but um, yeah, can't wait that long. So I'm gonna pop it out and see what happens. Here's the pottery that I've just taken out of the barrel. I thought I'd show it to you before I polish it up. The uh, looks like this might be quite a nice one when it's all polished. I should have said before, actually, this is all clay that I've dug locally. It's a ball clay um, gathered from the Wareham Basin uh, in, um, in Dorset. So yeah, it uh, seems to have withheld the thermal shock quite well, although I'm noticing a few cracks, hairline cracks appearing, but that's probably because I was impatient and took it out before it had properly cooled down. It's uh, still giving off a lot of heat, but yeah, can't wait to polish it up and um, see what colours appear. Here's my favourite final result. Great colours, no cracks, great fun. Happy potting everyone, give it a go and enjoy, bye!